Two, you don't deserve a tip. You're not even giving me my groceries. Well, no, I'm not because you guys didn't tip me. Like, what, what don't you understand? You don't deserve a tip. What would you do if you were in this situation? This is a video that's been going pretty viral recently, and it's a confrontation between a delivery driver and someone who made an order of $400 worth of stuff. Basically, the person who made the order has decided to give no tip at all, which has left this delivery driver shocked. So so much so that she's deciding to return everything right back to the store and process a refund. A lot of people have been divided on who's in the wrong in this situation, and honestly, I can see both sides. As someone who has worked in the hell that is the service industry in the past where tipping is a thing, I feel like I'm specially qualified to speak on this matter, so without further ado... Let's just get right into the video. Uh, you can see how All much work it was and why I should be getting a tip because of how much work no, this was. No, you don't deserve yes, a tip. I you do. certainly don't. Why do I not? You're when crushing was... the ramen noodles for I'm one. I'm not crushing with anything. Yes, the ramen are. noodles are perfectly fine. No, I don't know not. what you're talking no, about. No, they're not. They're perfectly fine. They're not crushed. And why does it matter anyways? I'm you're taking it back to the store. They're not for you anymore. They're not for you anymore. I just told you why I should get a tip. I had to pack all of this in my car and bring to you guys and unpack it. You did not pay me. You paid the serve. You paid the I paid delivery for this app. Food, okay? You paid the delivery you app. You did not pay me. Do you not understand stuff. that? No, I'm stuff. taking all of this back. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you guys can get your you refund, are. and no. another delivery I mean, driver can deal with you guys. This is why I try my best to use delivery services as least as possible. It's because of shit like this. First, you gotta pay for the food slash items themselves. Then you gotta pay the base delivery fee. Next, there's the service fee, taxes on top of all of that, and then the tip. It's fucking outrageous. And I can fully understand why the woman who made this order doesn't want a tip. It's probably because the price of all this stuff is already really jacked up due to using the service. But with that said, if you heard me earlier, I did say that I do tip for multiple reasons. First of all, I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that these delivery drivers are paid next to nothing. I mean, this is practically slave labor, which needs to be changed. And on top of that, these are drivers that are providing a service at the end of the day. You know, they're driving from location to location and it's expected that everything you ordered is being handled with care and whatnot. That's why whenever I do use delivery apps, despite tipping being optional, I'm fully prepared to leave a tip. So, so far, overall, I'm having mixed thoughts about this video. But yeah, unless I'm feeling like a complete and utter lazy slob, I refuse to use any delivery apps or services, ever. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you guys can get your you refund, are. and no. another delivery I mean, driver can deal with you guys. I'm not gonna deal with no, it No, you're stealing. No, I'm not you stealing it. I'm taking it back to the store. How do we know you're gonna take it back to the store? How do we know you're gonna take it back to the store, though? You'll get a receipt. Trust me. No, You'll get your I receipt. won't. Okay. Yeah, you will. So I'm gonna I go take it out. Either, so I, I just don't. You, I don't you can need, get fired. I don't need all this stuff. So fired. I don't have a reason to to have it. This so I'm gonna take it back to the store. I don't that care that how much stealing. it was. You're stealing. I don't, I'm not stealing it. I'm taking it back to the store. No, what you don't are, you understand? You are. You're gonna go Clearly to jail. Clearly, you're not understanding because I'm telling you right now, it's going back to the store. You guys can get your money back, and you can hire no, another driver. You can't just take this. Go ahead and drive another driver. No, you can't take. Go ahead and drive. Get another driver to. Um, you can't bring take all this things that don't you belong to you. You clearly don't understand how this. To confirm the order, it's my property. Um, that doesn't or matter. Do you not you understand what property? Your refund back so that I don't have to deal with you guys. Anymore. No, you're gonna lose your job. No, and at this point, I'd rather lose my job than have to deal with you guys. At this point, so I'll you're just gonna load all, all of it up. I'm gonna load it all you back up so and get you guys can get you guys return. I, I feel like this is just a waste of time. You're just wasting your time. I'd rather waste my time than deal with you guys at this point. This is why tipping needs to be abolished period. Like, if there's one thing I've always hated, it's tipping. From the buyer's perspective, you're pretty much pressured to tip some extra money for something you already paid for, even if the service wasn't anything special. And from an employee's perspective, you're forced to rely on these tips, which are completely optional while already being underpaid. Nobody wins, aside from the businesses. It's bullshit, and if it were up to me, I'd get rid of tipping entirely. But back to the video, honestly, after listening to both of these people, I could say that nobody's in the right 
right here. On one hand, you have the delivery driver who willingly accepted this order that had no tip attached. From what I've heard, drivers can actually see if they're going to be getting a tip or not when they accept an order, and I guess this woman assumed she'd get a tip in person after making the delivery, which does happen, of course, but overall, it's still pretty stupid to just assume you'll be getting a tip. And obviously, she's already there, so might as well drop the stuff off and not lose your job. And on the other hand, you have the person who made the order who refuses to tip, which is honestly just ridiculous. I mean, I'd kind of understand if it was a cheap order that was nearby. Even then, I'd probably still tip a few dollars. But this is a $400 order of a bunch of stuff. That's just disrespectful at that point. That shit almost sounds personal. As much as I hate tipping, mandatory or not, not tipping on a $400 care package worth of stuff is fucking wild. Time, you're just wasting your time. I'd That's rather waste why... my time than deal with you guys at this point. I'd rather you guys deal with another delivery person and then you can see that they're gonna have an issue as well because we're not gonna you're not tip. tipping. Then they're gonna, you're gonna have I an mean, issue with I mean, tipping is well. optional and for a reason. It's gonna if, become a cycle. It's gonna keep If keep they happening. wanted it to be like mandatory why didn't they make this like i don't thing? know i don't make the rules for these apps i just work I mean, for then it why don't you complain why to why them and just give us our food we yeah. do complain have you not been hearing about the strikes do you guys not watch the news a better job what do a better job i did a great job actually i delivered all this stuff to you i loaded it unloaded it and i got you got it here early so i'm confused how i didn't do a good job and why i don't deserve a tip that's how you show your appreciation. Well, clearly you don't deserve a tip. You're not even giving me my groceries. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I don't really understand that point. The entire reason she's not handing over the goods is because she's not getting a tip. But obviously the reason the person who made the video isn't tipping is because it's optional, which is a little surprising. I would think that after a certain price point, like a couple hundred dollars, a tip to the delivery driver would be mandatory. I mean, that just sounds like a no-brainer policy that should be implemented by the delivery apps if they want their drivers to actually accept big orders like this. But then again, I think any half-decent person would have probably tipped something, so I don't know if this is all that common. You don't deserve a tip. You're not even giving me my groceries. Well, no, I'm not, because you guys didn't tip me. Like, what, what don't you understand? You don't deserve a tip. That's it's optional. Okay, I and don't just deserve... because it's optional doesn't right. give you the right, right. to Right, you said I don't deserve groceries. a tip, so now I'm going to return it back and you no, have to you're get your money back. No, you're taking my groceries. Yeah, I'm taking your groceries you're back to the Store. Stealing my I'm groceries. taking your groceries back to the store. Okay, so you're stealing my groceries, taking, taking them back, to the, them back store, to the store, and then I'm gonna get you fired. Go ahead. Because go you stole ahead. my groceries, and then I'm gonna call okay. the cops. Okay. That's three hundred dollars worth of charges ahead. right there. So that's a misdemeanor. Go ahead. Or a felony for you. Go ahead. I just want to like, point, I want to lay out the logic of all of this. Go ahead and lay it out for, for me. You guys are gonna get your refund back, and then no, you guys can do it from there. It's more than just a refund. You stole it. It has nothing to do with me anymore. So once I return those back to the store. It's up to them for what they do. All right, for all right. You know okay? what? You you take everything. Yeah, you I'm take everything, to. and yeah. you have a great day. We are going you to too. report this. Go ahead. Probably gonna keep it for herself. That's what I'm thinking, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the moral of the story is that businesses need to pay their employees better and tipping needs to be eradicated immediately. Oh, and try not to use these delivery apps. As lazy as I might be feeling, I will haul my ass over to a store or a restaurant before getting milk dry and robbed by the fees of Uber Eats or DoorDash. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know what your thoughts are on tipping. Should it be mandatory should it be changed or just not a thing leave a comment peace